637, we know dog and cat food as kibble, but more and more pet owners are feeding their animals raw diets, uncooked meats, eggs, even fruits and vegetables. Our four-legged friends in some cases may be eating better than us. Consumer investigator Kristen Byrne looks at the pros and cons of switching to non-traditional pet food. One of the big theories of feeding your pet a raw food diet is bringing your animals back to their roots of eating in the wild. I talked with a dog owner who raves about the benefits. Kimberly Gutierrez feeds her four dogs a raw food diet. Basically, I started with raw in the morning, kibble in the evening. Then I went to full raw. On the menu, things like ground quail with green tripe. She tried a raw food diet after one of her dogs was chronically sick with ear infections, inflammation, allergies, and more. He was just a miserable, itchy, anxious dog. Within two weeks, you couldn't even find a sign that he had ever had a rash on his body. He never had an ear infection again. Kimberly says traffic on her pet blog, Keep the Tail Wagging, spiked in 2014 when she made her posts all about raw feeding. She covers topics like costs and safety. When I started writing about raw feeding, I was like a, a big fish in a small pond. Now I'm a minnow in a sea of people writing about their experiences with raw feeding and I couldn't be happier. Are raw diets safe for dogs? I think it really depends. Veterinarian Dr. Jamie Oakes doesn't recommend a raw food diet for pets, but says a handful of her human clients feed their animals exclusively uncooked foods. Others add it to kibble. She says some of them turn to this non-traditional diet because of allergies. So one thing that works for one dog is definitely not going to work for every single dog. Dr. Oakes showed us a website called Balance It. It's basically a healthy meal plan for pets. Pet owners are awesome and they just want the what's best for their pet. It's just we need to make sure we're doing that in a safe way. She tells anyone deciding to ditch the kibble to connect with a veterinary nutritionist. Sanitation is always important when prepping your pet's food. Uncooked meats and eggs carry the risk of salmonella and other bacteria. Pets can get sick, but you can too. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne.